Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video guys to any of you that have a BMW X5 with a six cylinder gasoline engine and you're trying to find where your vanos solenoids are located and how to replace them. We'll explain about intake and exhaust vanos solenoid guys. Now, uh, we will share guys two facts as we go. Uh, even though you may get a code for a bad vanos solenoid, you may not need one, so make sure you stay with us until the very end. Before we start, let me introduce you guys to the channel. Every single car we get at the shop, we make at least 200 free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need guys in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video so we can keep providing that free information to you guys. Uh, if you need to buy new replacement parts, vanos solenoid, anything like that, check out the links in the description of the video below guys. We share them for your convenience. So this is guys N52 engine, but even if you have N53, N54 or N55 engine, the procedure should be very similar. Now let me show you guys okay, something else okay, before we start. Uh, we have guys a main channel, how to repair guys, that we have helped more than 69 million people and we have quite helpful information on BMW and other cars that can save you thousands of dollars on repair, so make sure you check it out guys. Uh, this is the engine right here. Now, you have two van solenoids, one is for the intake camshaft, one for the exhaust. The intake is on the right side of the engine, this is the intake camshaft position sensor, exhaust camshaft position sensor, and those are your van solenoids. Now, how do you know which one is the intake? The top one, guys. Top one is the intake because it's more to the right. The bottom one is more to the left, that's the exhaust one. Uh, now, you may not even need new solenoids and we'll explain that in just a second. Now, <clears throat> how do you guys remove them? The procedure is exactly the same for both of them. Doesn't matter if you remove the intake or the exhaust, the procedure is the same. So, what you need to do, you need to press that metal piece down, okay, like that, and at the same time pull the cable out, just like that. Now, clean everything really good because you don't want to contaminate your engine with dust, dirt, and uh, let's say rocks or anything like that that's stuck there because if it falls in the engine, that can cause damage. So, uh, now guys, okay, we need to find, okay, uh, we we need we need to find uh, two that's going to fit here. In our case, 10 millimeters. So we'll go ahead, remove it. Okay, perfect. And it may be stuck, guys. You have one big O-ring that prevents oil from coming out, and that's a common place to develop an oil leak, by the way, on higher mileage engine. And you pull it out. Make sure that this O-ring is stuck here, okay? Because sometimes it will be actually stuck on the cylinder engine block here and you will need to grab it from the back and pull it towards the outside but be very careful not to drop it inside your engine this is it right here now sometimes dirty solenoids okay if you haven't changed the oil often enough or uh, sometimes even if you do bmw have the extended uh, extended uh, uh, distance that you can go on oil changes that can actually guys make those things dirty and we have a special video that explains how to clean them and we have a video how to test them i'll put the link in the description of the video below so please guys check it out we do that for your convenience also if you need to buy a new one we'll have the links in the description of the video below as well so uh, hopefully the video will be helpful. The other one is exactly the same way and installation is in reverse order. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time. 